guys, hello, my name's Alexa, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, so today's video is going to be, like I mentioned last time, I'm going to do little swatches of something I just got in the mail. It's, um, I got three of the Kale polishes because Kathleen had like a little one day sale where you bought three for a specific price. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember what that price was, but anyway. I also have two of her other colors from other collections. I have the Das Expensive for her birthday, and I have Zoe from her first collection. And the three that I will show you later, and I have some other nail polishes. I have some, like I have a lot more nail polishes. They are just missing, and I'm very upset because I can't find them. So, that's my life. <laughs> Great. Anyway, um, if I look a little weird today, it's because I only have on concealer and a very light layer of mascara. My face is acting up right now, and I don't know what's going on. I usually have really oily skin, but like I think I mentioned in the last video that I have like a really weird dry patch, like only on this side of my lip, like my whole upper lip, it feels numb. Like that's how dry it is. Like it's flaky, it's really weird. It's like a rash almost. I do have eczema sometimes. It happens during the summer. Like I have a little patch right here that's going away now, but like I usually get it on here. And I don't know if like face eczema is a thing, but like I have dry patches here, here. I have one under this eye, just under this eye. Like even if I put a hydrating concealer, moisturizer, whatever I do, like it's dry and like flaky. And if I put a setting powder over it, like it'll look crusty and it's not what this video is about, but I'm just letting you know that my face is being weird. My hair is up because I got bored the last couple videos. It's been in a single ponytail, so I'm trying to change it up for you guys. I'm trying to be better. Okay? So, let's get to the video. So first, I'm going to open this. I already opened it, so there's like nothing to open, but I'm going to show you. There's cat hair all over this. But yeah, so I received this the other day. It took, I want to say two weeks to get here. Yeah. Two. No. Like a week, week and a half, yeah. So the three that I ordered is Brick Sidewalk, Miss Honey, and Snickerdoodle. And this is what it came with. It's just her little postcard from the, um, the new uh, summer collection. So this is what it looks like. I didn't get any shades from her, or did I? No, Miss... This honey's from Spring Collection, I think. Let me just Google this because I don't remember. But yeah, so I got three shades, and each shade comes like wrapped in its own little like black tissue. I really do like the packaging, and it all comes like a little okay polish thing. Um, I kind like part of me wishes that she had like some sort of um, like more bubble wrap because the bag itself is really thin, and it's like bubble wrap bag, but still it's like you know a little weary. But, is this from this? No, okay, so yeah, Miss Honey's from the Spring Collection, and uh, Brick Sidewalk is from her original first collection. <sighs> I don't think she had a name for this collection, it was just like, hey, new polishes. But technically, I think it was fall of 2016 that these colors came out, but yeah, it was Zoe, which I already had previously. I just got Brick Sidewalk, um, I got Miss Honey, which is from the Spring 2017 collection, and I got Snickerdoodle, which is from her original collection as well. Okay, so yeah. Um, so the only thing I'm missing from her original collection is my... I don't have Gumption, I kind of... I do want Gumption. I don't have Caramello. I have Caramello on my toenails right now, I'm not going to show you because it's like weird, but I mean, I'll talk about it later. But I'm missing Broccoli and Chocolate and Gumption from her original collection. So I'm going to be getting those at some point from her Spring 2017. I did really like Pistachio Ice Cream. I do want Coconut Milk. Um, St. Clair, that's the one I wanted to talk about. I have an Essie nail polish that looks almost identical to St. Clair. It's a little bit more lavender. Don't remember the name of it. That's one of the ones that's missing. I legit was wearing it couple days ago, so, I mean, not a couple days ago, I was wearing it a few weeks ago, right before I put on Carmelo, and I don't know where it is, so I'm a little bit frustrated, because my room's a mess right now, and I don't, I don't feel like looking for it, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I do kind of want to get St. Clair, but like I said, I have an Essie polish that looks kind of like it, 
so why would I have two of the same color? But like, I really like Kale Polish's formula. Is my bun coming undone? I feel it. They're like put up by clips because I can't find more of my little ties, so whatever. Hug and Roll I do like, Miss Honey I already have. And then for summer of 2015, I kind of want to get Magic City. I don't really like 305, I don't like MIA, I hate like pink ones. Porter Miami is a yes, Ocean Drive is a maybe. Because I do have, it's in here I believe, I have one that's really similar to Ocean Drive. And South Peach I do want. That's what she said I also want and that's it. So yeah. So like I said, this uh, that's expensive. This one is no longer available on the website unless you can like, find it on eBay for $30,000. But this was only for her birthday that she came out with this one and I got it. And it's just a gold glitter polish. And I like using it in combination. Like I might use this one with Snickerdoodle because I like the color. I can use this one with Miss Peach. I can use it with Zoe. So maybe even Brick Sidewalk. Yeah, it looks cute together. Like. But yeah, so I will, I do have like these natural nail tips that I will be applying the polishes on because my actual nails are very short. I can do it on my actual nails, I'll do like close up scenes after this, so if you want to stick around for like the swatches, wait for the end, or I might put that in the middle, I'm still not sure, but I have to film that after I finish filming this, I'll do the close ups. But yeah, so I'll be putting them on the natural nails and I might put them on my actual nails. So, review time. Alright, so like I said, I do have, I almost dropped them, I have five of the kale polishes so far, I plan on getting more. Um, she had, the ones that I just got now are Brick Sidewalk, Miss Honey, and Snickerdoodle, so I have not tried these out yet, but from obviously reviews and all that, I do know how opaque they are and how good they are, I'm just shaking it up because it's a little separated. But I have tried out um, Zoe, and I really do like it. Like I mentioned, I have Carmelo on my toenails, and I've had it on for almost three weeks. And I'm not going to show you because it's weird, but on like my big toe, it's only like chipping on the very edge. And on my other ones, it's a little worn down, but for the amount of time, like that's amazing. Because none of my other polishes last that long. So... Uh, to my other nail polishes, I think I'm going to do all of my SE ones first, even though I can't find most of them. Wait, no, here it is. This is the one that looks like St. Clair. It was just separated. I'm so happy. So the one from SE that reminds me a lot of St. Clair is called Saltwater Happy 128. And it looks like this. It's It looks blue on the bottle, but when you actually put it on your nails, like, after a few days, it, like, I wouldn't say it oxidizes, but it turns from, like, a light blue to a more, like, lavenderish hue. But I really do like this. This might be a touch lighter than St. Clair, but it's very similar and reminiscent to it. So, I think that's it for my Essie's. So, yeah, my Essie... I'm missing my hot pink one. Or did I give it to my mom? I gave a lot of polishes to my mom because I had like really weird colors that I used to wear in high school when I used to do like nail art. Um, I had literally like every single shade of like hot pinks. I had bright blues, I had yellows, I had greens. And I have none of that now. I only have like neutrals because I'm a better person. I'm a bigger person. I'm an adult. So Essie, I have, like I said, Saltwater Happy. And I think these, I got them all at TJ Maxx. Because TJ Maxx sometimes has Essie Polish for like $3.99. When if you go to like Walmart or something, you'll find them for like 8 or $9. So like, money saving tip, there you go. It's not always at TJ Maxx. Or I got them at Martin. They have them at Marshalls too. Um, same store. So just swing on by if you can find them. But the other Essie Polish I have is Peach Side Babe. Which, this could be a dupe for, for the South Peach or whatever because it is very orange pinky. But yeah, and then the other one that I have is High Maintenance, which is one of my favorites, especially for like my toenails if I'm just going for like a, you know, two coat of a classy look is this one. It's a very like French manicure style pink. But yeah, those are my Essies. And then I have a random brands, I guess. I have this one from the brand Ayla, Ayla, A-I-L-A. And I got this in a birch box, I believe, of like a year ago. And it's in the shade Mr. Pookies. And I do like this one because it's like a 
purple, mauvey, brown, like cool toned. And the formula's alright, it doesn't last very long, like, I don't know if it's my nails, if it's the formula, but like when I put it on my actual nails, the polish will not last me more than one night. Like I can do my nails tonight and tomorrow they will be completely chipped. So, if I do a wear, I might do a wear test actually of these polishes. So, yeah, because I work tomorrow. So, I'm going to, at the end of this video, when I show you the swatches on the fake tips, I'm going to pick one of these colors to put on my nails. Um, since I do work tomorrow, I'm going to work a, what, four or five hour shift. So if my nails can make it through tonight, tomorrow morning, and work, I work as a server, so hands on. If they last, I will put it in the description box of this video of how that went, if they chipped, anything like that. So, that was a little side piece. So the other polish I have from like a random brand, I actually bought this at a five and below in Connecticut like two years ago, but I really like it because it's a holographic, before hollow was hollow, um, and it's called Sand and Stilettos 5253, and it's the brand Funky Fingers, and like I said, I got it at five and below. It's like a cool shape bottle, but yeah, it's like a purple hollow sort of shade. I'm separating them in front of me on my table here by like brand. Mm -hmm. um, I do have some of the um, Sinful colors. Uh, I do like the Kylie collection. I have a lot of the Kylie collection actually. It's kind of embarrassing how many I have. But is that it? Nope. No more. Nope. Okay, so of the Sinful colors, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shades. That's really bad. Um, so yeah, most of my collection is all sinful colors because I do like the Kylie collection. So these are all the ones that I have. There's a lot. So of the Kylie's, oh, let me just do not Kylie actually. So the only that I have, the only two that I have that aren't Kylie is the top coat and a color in. Nirvana, which I really like. It's a cool tone, like grayish brown sort of color. I might do close ups of this afterward, but that's what that looks like. I'll mix them all, of course. And for the Kylie's, I don't remember which ones came out first, but let me separate it by matte. The only matte that I have is a glitter, but it's a matte, and it's in denim and bling. I'm really confused. It's like a true gold glitter. It's really weird. Um, then I have a Demi Matte Formula, which is one of my favorite colors, especially in the fall. And it has a sheen to it, like it has a gold reflect to it, but it's a like wine purple color. My nose is really itchy for some reason. And it's called I C Love You. I K Love You, Club You, whatever. And like I said, it's a very like wine vampire-ish kind of dark shade. Then I have two of her shimmer mattes, and one is a like a pinky. I should have mixed all of these before I started this video, but this one's a very like peachy pink color. I really do like this one in the springtime, and it's called VI Peach. That's cute. And then the other one, I don't think I've ever used this one. This is like a white. This. I'm going to do a dupe video for Kathleen's because this kind of looks like coconut milk. It's like a white but an off-white. And this one is called Hello Halo. It's cute. And, oh, it does have like holographic glitter in it. I see it. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. So that's those two. Then we have two, uh, no, one duochrome and then two of our signature collections. And these have gel tech in them, so that's, oh, okay, this was a step, okay, I got these first, alright. So, this size is the duochrome, and this is in the shade denim and bland, no, Cleopatra. So what was this shade? Oh, this gold one, this is from the denim and bling collection. This is called Carrots of Cargo, all with K's, and that's the gold one, and this is the denim and bling, this was her first collection, I believe. And this is in the shade Cleopatra with a K, obviously. And this is a very, like, oil slick kind of color. I really do like this one. And then the last two that I have are part of, like, the, I think the first ones that were released, which are part of, like, the gel collection, which is why I have the top coat. 
The other ones I don't, I usually don't use top coats because like I said on my nails, even with top coat, even with primer or base coat, whatever, my nails always chip within a day, so. So the last two that I have are from the King Kylie collection, which was her first, I believe, and this is called The New Black. And it's like a navy black with silver like shimmer in it. And then the other, the last one that I'm going to show is from King Kylie, like I said, and it's called Commando. And this is like a true pink with pink shimmer in it versus this one, which is more peach, as you can see. So that was all for the sinful colors. So next, I'm going to move on to, I guess, some Sally Hansen. Yeah. So my first Sally that I have is from the Miracle Gel. Um, I have two, actually, of the Sally Mar Miracle Gels. And I have one in birthday suit, and that's like a pink color. I really like this. Like I said, I'm a fan of just pink nails, and this is the top coat for that. Um, the other gel polish that I have is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel, and I do like this collection. I have like two other colors. I don't know where they are. I know I have the pink one of this one too. I'm confused. But this one's called 733A Left Marooned, and it is a maroon. Um, then I have an NYC color, and the only reason I have kept this one is because it is a true gray. It is in the shade Sidewalkers, and it's just like a very gray color. Um, then I have this Wet n Wild of their Wild Shine collection, which is their glitters, and this is like a pink glitter. That is it for my nail polishes. So now let's move on to some swatches of the KL. Alright guys, so this is the KL Polishes close-up so you can see the shades. This is Snickerdoodle right here. This one is Miss Honey. This is Brick Sidewalk. This is Death Expensive. And then finally this is Zoe. So like I said, I do have some tips here, um, natural tips and eyelashes. I might do Miss Honey just because I haven't tried it out for the wear test. So yeah. Let me go ahead and put these on here. I just chose some of these big ones because I never use them, so I'm not they're not gonna go to waste, you know what I'm saying? But so yeah, let's start off with Snickerdoodle. So that's what it looks like with one coat. And I'm just gonna give that a second to dry and I'm gonna go in with a second coat. See, this polish is completely opaque only with two coats and that's what that color looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the edge here with the corresponding polish so this was snickerdoodle and the next one I'm gonna do is miss honey that's what it looks like with one layer It looks like with two coats and after the first coat dries actually it ends up a lot more opaque than you think like when you first put it on you think that you need a second coat but then once it dries it gets a lot darker so now I'm gonna go in with brick sidewalk will you find me soon really nice and this one even with just one coat is like completely opaque that's crazy I won't even need a second coat with this one. Look at that. That is like 100% like opaque with one coat. Like that is insane. So yeah, I'm done with that one, I guess. So that's Brick Sidewalk. Now we're going to go ahead and do Das Dispensive. Trapped in the darkness, lost in the night, so far away coat of death suspensive looks like so yeah and then last but not least Zoe which was the first one she made I believe a lot like brick sidewalk you just need one like good layer or one good coat I should say and look at that that's good right there 
so yeah, I would say with the lighter ones, I would do two light coats just um, to be sure. But with Zoe, you really Zoe and Brick Sidewalk, you really just need one. So with the darker ones like Gumption or Porter Miami or even Magic City, you might just need one good layer. And with the lighter ones like Coconut Milk or even um, Miss Peach or uh, 305 or anything like that, I would do two light ones. So that is what they look like, and I'm going to do another close-up. So that is what the shades look like up close. Like I said, these right here have two light coats. These three only have one, and this one was limited edition, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I just wanted to show what her um, glitter formula could do, just in case she comes out with any more. This one was for her birthday, so I'm assuming she might come out with one maybe for like Christmas or something. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the polish to my actual nail and like I said I think I'm going to go with Miss Honey. That is Miss Peach with just one layer, and it's looking really nice, actually. I love the color on my skin tone. I think she mentioned that this one is a really good color on all skin tones, and I could attest to that because it looks really nice. I'm going to do a light second layer. Bet you can see me, pull me out of here. Feels like I'm drowning. This is what it looks like with two coats. It is completely on. Like I don't, I can barely see like the white tips of my nails, and I really like how it's actually looking. I love the color. Like I said, it's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my second hand. And like I said, I will be putting it in the description box down below how long this polish lasted, especially through a work shift. So yeah. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My camera cut off at the end because my card was full, so I had to go look for my other one. But I did end up doing two coats on each hand. And like I said, I will be doing a wear test throughout tonight and tomorrow because I work tomorrow. So I will let you know if the nail polish chipped, cracked, anything like that. If my nails broke, probably they will because my nails are crazy. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.